that everyone experiences, particularly once they've had it and lost it. And that, that need is for a sense of purpose. Even the unhappiest of soldiers and sailors have a purpose. They have a mission. Um, even if they don't agree with that particular mission on that particular day, they have it and they know that the people around them have it and that the people around them will, will care for them. Uh, when you leave the service, you leave much of that behind. The sense of purpose, you may or may not get a job that provides that. You may or may not join a club that provides that, uh, but it's just not the same. That sense, that drive to serve a common purpose just isn't there anymore. And I think that's the, the most frequent thing I hear from people is that, that here they have a common purpose and everybody agrees with it. And much like being in the service, everyone cares about everyone else. So red. What, what, should we just move five and, five and ten? My transition was a little rough. I quickly realized like I'm different than I used to be. You know, I was drinking quite a bit. I was really angry all the time. And uh, I was very fortunate to have my dad come up and he had dinner with us one day of the week and he basically called me out on it and used his own story as an example um, from when, when he was in the Navy. And I honestly think that that experience is what has made me feel so strongly about this whole notion of peer support because he, if it weren't for him using his own story to encourage me to fix myself, I probably would be divorced by now and not in a very good place. Growing Veterans is an informal organization of people who support each other and grow crops and grow each other and grow the community. There's trust here and openness and we can be who we are here. If someone's having a really bad week or uh, a bad time, we don't pressure them. If they say, hey man, I can't come to work today, I'm just really struggling. We'll ask them what the problem is, but we're not going to make them come to work. And many times people will come to work with problems or with um, stress, and we just talk it through, you know. But it's in an informal setting where you're trimming tomatoes or you're weeding or you're picking beans. So it's not like sitting in a therapist chair in a windowless office. This is a very open atmosphere and I think it works for that reason. It's, it's hard, you've left your tribe behind, you know, you've worked closely with all your brothers and sisters for a long period of time, you know, especially for the people that have been on deployments or have had, you know, an extended, you know, career in the military and then you get out in the civilian world and all of a sudden you're an individual. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's very hard to integrate back into civilian life um, when you've had that support from your brothers and sisters for so long. Um, I think tribe's a good way to describe it. You know, I think you do kind of lose that sense of connection. PTSD is what they call a tissue issue. You know, when you're exposed to trauma, you're, there's changes that occur in the brain. You're trained to end life, and now you're, you're producing life. I mean, you, you realize very easily that these plants are alive, and you're using the the product of, of their creation to sustain your own life or you know one of my favorite things to do is grow a nice big tomato and give it to someone. 